Hi, thank you so much for joining me. So today I would like to show you how you can do your own spa manicure. Uh, manicures are a really great way to pamper yourself and hydrating your nails and hands on a regular basis can help to avoid painful hangnails and any sort of gross funguses out there. <laughs> but most importantly, manicures are very relaxing and can definitely help to alleviate stress. You might not be able to tell right now, um, but I used to have really, really jagged and short fingernails because I was an avid nail biter. So um, I, I decided that I finally wanted to quit the nail biting habit shortly after I started this channel and I realized that um, I couldn't make all the nice tapping sounds that other creators with long beautiful fingernails could. So I started with acrylic nails and you know having hard fake nails on your hands for a few weeks definitely helped um, and can help for you to stop your nail biting habit as it did for me um, and that's the good thing about acrylic nails now the bad thing about acrylic nails is that you um, your natural nails are left in a very thin weak state so um, after a few weeks of getting acrylic nails, I, I, stopped, uh, I stopped getting those and um, I got a few manicures here and there, but for the most part I've been uh, upkeeping my nails at home and I find that I really like the way that they look and uh, it's also a whole lot cheaper than the um, bi-weekly maintenance of uh, of your nails at a professional salon with a professional manicure. So without further ado, here is a spa manicure tutorial which will allow you to pamper yourself, get your fingernails clean and refined, and most importantly, allow you to relax. I hope that you enjoy! The first step in this tutorial is to clip, file, and buff the nails as necessary. Now is also a good time to remove any nail polish that is still on the nails. I have just a little bit left over from the last application, so I'm just going to dip a cotton ball into nail polish remover and remove it from my nails. Before filing and buffing, be sure that the nails are dry, since filing wet nails can cause splitting. There are a few basic nail shapes that you can achieve depending on your preference and the way that you file your nails. I personally like more shaped nails, so I will file my nails accordingly. Since my nails aren't particularly long, a nail file should be sufficient for what I'm looking to achieve so I won't need nail clippers this time around. A 
good tip to remember if you would like a rounded or oval nail shape is to visualize making a square and then simply rounding the corners with moderate angles to complete the shape. After I file my nails, I'm going to make sure that all edges are smooth and not rough, so I will use a nail buffer. I'm now going to apply cuticle oil, which will help to soften and lubricate the cuticles and surrounding skin. I have made a homemade cuticle oil with one part rosehip oil, one part sweet almond oil, and about five drops of lavender essential oil.
Next, I'm going to soak my nails in warm, soapy water for a few minutes to further soften the cuticles and to simply ensure that my hands are clean and prepared for nail polish. I like to add a few drops of lemon essential oil to the water as well, as lemon oil is a very cleansing essential oil. Since it contains antibacterial and antifungal properties, I also like to use a brush to make sure any nail powder left from the filing is removed. After soaking my hands for a few minutes, I am ready for the next step, and that's exfoliation. I will be using a homemade sea salt scrub with two parts of sea salt, one part of grapeseed oil, and a few drops of lavender essential oil. Exfoliation is an important step in this spa manicure as it will remove dead and dry skin and leave your hands soft and smooth.
After I've exfoliated my hands, I'm going to push back the cuticles. For pushing back your cuticles, you can use one of your nails, or you can use a cuticle pusher. I'm also going to trim any dead or dry skin around the nail with a cuticle trim. Avoid clipping the cuticles themselves, unless they're really sticking up, since they help to protect the nails. Now, it's time to apply nail polish. Once again, I'm going to make sure that my nails are dry before applying polish, so I'm going to gently buff the nails with my nail buffer to remove any of the oil residue from earlier. If you are strapped for time, or if you prefer a very natural look, you can simply skip the nail polish and just add some natural looking shine to your nails, using a shiner block. This particular shiner block is two-sided, so the gray side is the light buffer, and the white side is the shiner. For extra shine with no nail color, you can also apply a nail strengthener. Since I am going to use nail color, I am going to start with applying a clear base coat, which will provide a smooth base for your nail color, as well as protect and nourish the nail beds.
To minimize slip-ups, I'm going to paint my dominant hand first, since it's even trickier to use your non-dominant hand when the nails are wet with polish. And I'm going to move my pinky near my thumb, which tends to rotate inward as you go and could get smudged. I have found that when I drink a lot of caffeine, I tend to get jittery, so my hands shake more than they usually do when I'm doing such a task as applying nail polish. So if you get a little jittery after coffee, ideally, you'll want to plan ahead and skip the coffee on the day that you're planning on giving yourself a nail makeover. Despite skipping the coffee, my hands are still a little shaky. After the base coat, it's time for the nail color. To prevent air bubbles from getting onto your fingernails from the polish, rub it gently between your hands. I am using Bubble Bath by OPI. I like neutral colors and find that this color really complements my skin tone and is very natural looking with just a little bit of shimmer. You'll usually want to brush on two thin coats of color, but for this particular polish, I will be just brushing on one thin coat because I really like the subtle look that just one coat provides.
Wait a few minutes before you apply the top coat. You can gently blow on your fingernails. Or you can do a hand dance to pass the time. After the nail color is somewhat dry, I'm going to apply the top coat, and what the top coat does is help to protect the nail color. After you have applied the top coat and it's dried a few minutes, clean up any color outside the edges of your nails with a Q-tip or a paintbrush dipped in polish remover. I am personally using an eyeliner brush that I seldom use on my eyes, so I thought that it would be a good substitute for a paintbrush. And finally, apply your favorite hand cream and treat yourself to a short hand massage. Followed by your current favorite bling, if you choose. <laughs> and that's it, a do-it-yourself spa manicure. If you would like to treat yourself to this do-it-yourself spa manicure, I have provided all of the items I used in this tutorial in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by. Have a wonderful, restful, peaceful day or night, and I hope that you'll join me again sometime soon. Wait for my gloves up. <laughs>